The first plugin that I'm gonna cover is WPS Hide Login. This is the best plugin that allows you to modify the WordPress login URL, which can reduce brute force attacks on your website. You may or may not know this that the hackers use bots to try to brute force websites. One of the major reasons is that most WordPress websites have the login page at the same location, which is their domain name forward slash wp-login.php or wp-headman. This plugin allows you to change the location of your WP login without rewriting any files. Instead, the plugin simply intercepts the page requests and sends you to the location of your choosing. So in simple words, we can change this section to whatever we want. So for those who are trying to brute force your website won't be able to access the URL. But before we add this plugin, let me show you guys the default admin login URL, which as you guys can see is accessible. And this is the section that we will change to a different name. Let's start by clicking on plugins and selecting the add new option on the left end admin panel. Over here, search for WPS add login in the available search box. This will also pull up additional plugins that you may find helpful. Click to install it. As you guys can see that the plugin has 900,000 active installations and 200,000 plus reviews and 5 stars. Once the installation is complete, you can activate it now. The plugin is really simple to use and doesn't require you to do anything fancy. In fact, all you need to do is change one thing in the settings. Click on settings and select the WPS hide login option. While you do only need to change one thing, there is an entire page for this area. Most of these sections are auto-filled and include your website's URL, admin email, time zone, language, date format and more. And that is because this is just the general settings of WordPress. All of these should already be set up for your website and should not require you to change anything. Thus, you can scroll down to the WPS ID login section. There are two options here, login URL and redirection URL. The login URL is what you must type into your web browser to find the login area. For example, once the plugin is active, the default URL after forward slash changes to login by default. So if we add over to the admin login page and refresh the old URL, it will redirect to 404. But if we change this area to login, we will be able to access the admin login. It is highly advisable to change the default login to a different name. You can type whatever you would like to, but make sure you remember it. So in our case, we will change it to Erican. The redirection URL is where users will go if they type in the default login URL wrong. By default, this will send anyone to a 404 error screen when they type in the default login URL. This can be left alone or you can go extra mile and create a page for this specific redirect. But this is completely up to you to change the redirection URL to whatever you want. We will leave it as it is. Once you have done this, click on save changes button. Go to the login URL you just created to see it in action. If you visit the default login URL, you will be redirected to what you choose. Finally, congratulations on setting up the WPS hide login plugin to protect your login area. You can change the login URL at any time. Just make sure to remember what it is. In case if you forget your login URL, the easiest way is to log into your cPanel. The cPanel login information is provided to you by your web host. And from here you can delete WPS hide login plugin. This will revert your login URL to the default page. And you can then reinstall the plugin if you desire.